Hi, welcome to the master's practical training video. We're going to be going over the master's practical. First things first, no jewelry, no necklaces. You can have small earrings like these, but no dangling earrings. Hair will be pulled back. If you have hair longer than mine, you're going to want to put it in a high slicked bun so that nothing is uh, hanging over the client. So we'll get started. Okay. Number one, work area and client preparation setup of supplies. You will prepare your work area for your client. You will set up the universal supplies you will use throughout the examination. You will also set up the supplies for the following sections of the examination. Cleansing of the face with product, manual lymphatic drainage, particle microdermabrasion on the forehead, LED treatment. You will prepare your client for services. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 15 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have eight minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any procedures until the verbal instructions are given and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is slide out your kit and you're going to put your lid in the side of your bin and you're gonna put on your floating pair of gloves And then you will grab your trash, soiled linens, and items to be disinfected. You'll put your lid back on and make sure you close the lid and then you'll slide it back under your desk. Then you're gonna put out your bins and the order they go in is soiled linens is gonna be furthest from you. Items to be disinfected will go in the middle and trash will be closest to you. And they will be labeled on all sides of the bin. After you have those in the correct order, you're gonna come back into your bin Always put it in the side and you're gonna grab your barbicide wipes and your hand sanitizer. Before you place it on the table, you're gonna put it in your arm, close your bin all the way, slide it back under the desk, and then you're going to wipe down your desk. You will grab a barbicide wipe and wipe down your whole table, including the edges of the table. So go all edges, and then wipe the top of it. And then you will wipe your hand sanitizer bottle, the bottom of it, the top of it, the handle, and you will place that on the edge of the table. You will wipe down your barbicide wipe container. And place that down as well. Then you will throw away your barbicide wipe. If your hand ever goes in the garbage past the rim, you will sanitize. If your garbage is overflowing and you have to push it down, you will sanitize. I will be sanitizing throughout this to stay sanitary. Anytime you sanitize, you will want to bring your hands over the garbage if you have any excess falling off. So after you set these up, throw your barbicide wipe away, sanitize. You're going to come back into your kit, put your uh, lid in the side and you will grab your universal supplies set them on the table and you will grab client number one and it will be labeled and you will grab your model head and place it on the table and this is also part of your universal supplies that can go right there you will close your bin and slide it under Get out your universal supplies to set them up. Your first aid, your water, and your universal supplies. Then you're going to zip this bag to get as much air out as you can. And I recommend you throw it into the garbage to get it as far down as you can. Then you're gonna open your client number one. 
you're going to get everything out. I like to have my um, client on this side and my, my work area stuff on this side so it's close to the garbage. So I'll get my aesthetic wipes out and place them down, my mask out and place it down, my microderm abrasion, my LED treatment, and have those out. And then you'll put out your cleanser, your toner, massage, degreaser, and sunscreen. I guess you do want them facing yourself. It will be labeled on both sides because you want the proctor to see that it says massage, but you will also have it on your side so you can see what you're using. After you get those out, you will zip this bag, get as much air out as you can. Try not to push it against your body. Keep it out and sanitary. Throw it in. And then you're gonna prepare your client. So you're gonna undo the headband. There will be a head wrap or head hair net in there. You'll have two towels. The first one you will lay down and you'll lay your client on it. The second one you're gonna do mountains and lay that on. And then you will do the hair net. and the hair wrap. Then you will sanitize because you have touched the client's hair. Anytime you sanitize, you want your hand under, never wipe excess sanitizer, but they wanna see your hand under and pumping it. Then you'll come over the garbage. And then you will Look at your table, make sure everything is prepared before you step back, then you'll step back. When you step back, you'll keep your hands out in front of you or to the side, don't touch your body. You can hold them like this, like this, like this, just don't touch your body. Then that is your first step. All candidates have indicated that they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Cleansing of the face with product. You will perform cleansing of the face. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is step forward and sanitize. Anytime you step forward, you will sanitize. So sanitize and then we're cleansing of the face. So we're gonna be grabbing three aesthetic wipes, one for the eye, one for the other eye, and one for the mouth. So you're gonna come into your aesthetic wipes and you're, you never want to reach your hand in. So try to grab out the right amount and then zip up your bag. Whatever is out of the bag, you can't put it back in because it is considered dirty. So you're going to come over and you're gonna take your first aesthetic wipe it's okay to have the, the other two sitting there, but if it's any longer, keep them in the bag. You'll grab your cleanser. Anytime you're gonna get something product-wise, you're gonna come over the garbage. You will dispense your cleanser for the eye, and then you will bring your cleanser back because you're not done using it. You'll come, say hello to your client, and you will cleanse one of the eyes. Make sure that you uh, get the rest, like cleanse and get any excess stuff off of their face. And then you will throw this one away. You will get your next aesthetic wipe and you will grab the cleanser again, dispense over the garbage, put it back, cleanse the other eye, brace their forehead, cleanse, remove excess, garbage now you're going to sanitize before you touch their mouth because you touch their eyes so you'll sanitize over the garbage you will grab your last aesthetic wipe and the cleanser and you will do their mouth 
don't get rid of your cleanser yet because you need to cleanse the whole face. You will cleanse their mouth and you want to make sure if you get product in the crease of the lips to get that out because the proctors are looking to make sure that there's no excess moisture or product in the crease of the lips. Once you're done with that, you will throw it away and you will sanitize because you touched their mouth. Then you will grab your cleanser and you will dispense it in your fingertips. And then you are done with your cleanser. You put it into items to be disinfected. You will emulsify over the garbage can with your cleanser. And then you will come over to your client and cleanse their whole face. You'll want to cleanse for about 30 seconds to a minute. Get it all over the face. Cleanse how you would if you were doing a client. Once you've cleansed the face for 30 seconds to a minute, you will break off at the temples. And then I will sanitize because I touched their whole face. If you have um, extra cleanser on your hands like I do, you can use a chlor or a Kleenex wipe to remove the extra product on your hands. But after you do that, make sure you sanitize again. So you'll throw this away and then you'll sanitize. And then you will come back in and you will grab an aesthetic wipe to remove the rest of the product on the face. So try and just pinch one out, zip your bag, and then you can grab it, your water, which is your universal supplies, get it wet. You can squeeze the extra water out and then you will come to your client and remove all of the excess cleanser on their face. Make sure to get it all. If you see any chunks of cleanser, wipe it off. Take your time with it. And obviously the model face won't dry as quick as a human's face. So give it time to just kind of dry. It's okay, it will eventually. And then once you're done with this, you'll throw it away. Sanitize again. And then you will apply your toner. So you're going to come back into your bag, your aesthetic white baggie and get another aesthetic white to tone the face. <laughs> so you'll pinch in and grab one aesthetic white, zip your baggie back up and place it back down. Grab your toner, apply it over the garbage. Now you're done with your toner. It can go into items to be disinfected. If you have a lot, squeeze it out, come back over, apply the toner to the client's face. Once you're done with that, throw your toner aesthetic wipe away, sanitize. Make sure that your toner and your cleanser are in the items to be disinfected before you step back. Make sure everything on your table is exactly how you want it and then you'll sanitize and you will step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed the section of the examination. We will now proceed. Manual lymphatic drainage. You will perform manual lymphatic drainage. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining, step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, you're gonna step forward and sanitize over the garbage. And we're doing lymphatic drainage. So you will get one aesthetic wipe out to apply massage cream. So get one aesthetic wipe, zip it back, Grab your massage cream, apply it to your aesthetic wipe. This can go into items to be disinfected. And then you'll come over to your client and you're gonna massage the 
or you're gonna apply the massage cream right under the chin area, right a little bit under the ear, right on the ridge of the eyebrow, and the other eyebrow, and then right under this side of the ear. Then you'll get rid of your aesthetic wipe, sanitize, And you'll come back over to your client and you're gonna perform manual lymphatic drainage. So your first spot that you're gonna start is right under the chin. So you want to do slow stationary circles with kind of the tips of your fingers. So you will stay here for one minute. You can count to 60, you can sing a song in your head. The slower, they wanna see you going slow. So if you think you're going slow, go slower. So you'll stay here for 60 seconds. And then after the 60 seconds that you count in your head, you'll move right under the ears and do the same motion for 60 seconds right under the ear. After you've counted to 60 in your head, you will move to the ridge of the eyebrow right here. And you will do the same motion for 60 seconds right on top of the ridge of the eyebrow. After you finish this, you will sanitize. And then you will grab an aesthetic wipe to remove the rest of the massage cream. That came out, so I'm gonna bring it out with me. Zip it up, place it down. I'll use my aesthetic wipe to remove the rest of the massage cream. And since I got two out, I'll use it. If that happens, go for it. If not, you can use the one aesthetic wipe. Make sure that you got under the chin and there's no clumps of it anywhere. You'll throw that away. You'll sanitize, make sure your massage cream is off of your table. Everything's how you want it to be before you step back. And then once you've sanitized, you can step back. All candidates have indicated that they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Particle mark microderm abrasion on the forehead. You will perform particle microderm abrasion. You will demonstrate horizontal and vertical strokes on the forehead. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, step forward and sanitize, like always, over the garbage. And then you will get two aesthetic wipes because we'll be degreasing and then pat drying the excess moisture on the forehead. And this is only on the forehead, which is nice. So you don't have to do it on the whole face. So you'll get your degreaser and your aesthetic wipe. Don't get rid of it yet because you do need it for LED on your next service. So you'll grab your degreaser only on the forehead, degrease the forehead. Get rid of that. Grab your next aesthetic wipe and you're gonna pat dry the area that you degreased. Then you'll get rid of that and you'll sanitize. And then you'll dress your client before you dress yourself. So when I say that, that means you're gonna get them prepared before you get yourself prepared. So you'll get their eye protection first. And the best way to get things out of the baggie without sticking your hand in is just shuffle it up and then grab it at the top. And then always zip. And then you'll grab your iPads, grab your water from your universal supplies, get your iPads wet. 
you can squeeze them to kind of get the moisture on the other one as well. And then you will come over to your client, place the iPads on them. It will help them stick when they're wet. You'll gently press on them and then you'll sanitize because you touch their eyes. You'll grab your mask, throw away your baggie, put your mask on over the nose, grab your glasses and put your glasses on. And then you'll sanitize because you've touched your hair and your face. Then you will grab your particle microderm abrasion and you'll unravel it and you want to put this in your arm. You don't want this um, loop to touch the table or the client. It is kind of hard to manage it, but just try your best of keeping it in the crease of your arm. And you're going to do vertical strokes and then horizontal. So you'll come over to your client and you'll introduce yourself and then you'll brace their forehead and you're going to start in the center and use your pinky as a guide and you'll do vertical all across the forehead about to the edge of the brow where you degreased. You'll come to this side and do your vertical strokes. all the way to the edge of the brow. And then you'll come back in the center and you will do horizontal strokes all the way to the edge of the brow. Take your time on it. You have time to do it. Then you'll do it on the other side as well. Once you're finished with this, you will roll you will roll it up kind of put it into items to be disinfected sanitize and then your next step you do not want to forget because it's kind of crucial you did particle microderm abrasion which means there are particles on the client's forehead so you after you sanitize you will immediately grab a aesthetic wipe Put it next to your client, zip it up. Come back and wipe off the particles. Obviously you can't see them because they're not there, but they are there. Wipe to one side. You don't want to like rub. They want to see you wipe it off to the side. So do it a few times indicating that you're wiping the particles off to the side. Then you'll throw this away, sanitize, And then you will undress your client before you undress yourself. If this happens with your glasses like mine are, you can reach up and tap them up a little bit if you need. But if you touch them with your hands, you'll need to sanitize. So you'll come, take your iPads off of your client, throw them away and sanitize. And then you will remove your glasses and these will go into items to be disinfected and you'll remove your mask and this goes into the garbage. Then you'll sanitize because you've touched your face. And then you'll look at your table and at this point, the only thing you should have on your table is your universal supplies, your LED treatment, which is coming up next, the rest of your aesthetic wipes, your degreaser, your sunscreen. So if you have anything else left on your table, it needs to go into the correct bin. You'll, so make sure, double check. And then the last step for this is you're gonna wanna remove your gloves because you did particle microderm abrasion. So after you sanitize, you take off your stuff, you will remove your gloves into items or into garbage. You'll sanitize your bare hands. and then you will step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. LED treatment. You will perform an LED treatment. You will demonstrate the treatment on the entire face. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. 
You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back when, to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sanitize. Remember you took off your gloves from particle microderm abrasion, so you do need a new pair of gloves. You can add them into your universal supplies like I have here, or you can have a completely separate baggie full of gloves. Either way works, but you'll come in and you will grab a new pair of gloves to wear. And then you'll zip your baggie back up and put it back up front. You'll uh, put these gloves on and then you will sanitize again. And then we're doing LED treatment. So you will grab an aesthetic wipe and you're gonna degrease the whole face. You'll actually grab two aesthetic wipes because you're gonna degrease and pat dry. So you'll get rid of this baggie sanitize, then you'll grab your aesthetic wipe and you'll grab your degreaser, apply your degreaser, then you're good to get rid of your degreaser, you no longer need it. Come over to your client, degrease the face, throw away your degreaser, Grab your other aesthetic wipe and you'll pat dry their face. Once you're done pat drying their face, you will grab their eye protection and you'll put their eye protection right on their face and then you'll sanitize because you've touched their eyes. Then you will grab your LED and you'll unravel it. And what they wanna see you do is check your LED on yourself before you do it on, their on your client. So the best way of doing that is you don't wanna check it far away. You want to step away from your client, hold it close to your arm, check it on your arm, turn it off, and then you're ready to go. So when you're doing LED, you're gonna welcome yourself to your client, start on their forehead, brace their forehead, start in the middle of their forehead and close. You don't want to be touching their head, you don't wanna be far away, you wanna be hovering on their forehead. So you'll click it on and you'll count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all around the face, counting to one, two, three, and slightly moving. If you want to go to the other side of the face, you'll have to click it off and move around. But I recommend you go in a circle and then once you get down to, um, see what I just did with that? You want to make sure you're watching the string so it's not getting too close. Once you get down to here, turn it off, switch arms because it gets complicated when it's right there. You'll switch arms. Finish this side of the face so that it's easier without the string touching their face. So you'll finish, you'll come back up to the top, turn it off. This goes into items to be disinfected. You'll sanitize. Then you'll come back to them and you'll remove their eye protection. This goes into items to be disinfected. Sanitize again because you touch, the, touch their eyes. And then your last step for this is you're gonna apply sunscreen to their face. So you'll grab your sunscreen, apply it into your fingertips. This can go into items to be disinfected. You'll emulsify it over the garbage. Come back to your client apply the sunscreen on their face. Obviously it's not going to absorb into the client's skin, but get it as evenly um, on the face as you can, just so there's not big clumps of sunscreen sitting on their face. So once you have applied the sunscreen, 
Look at your table and make sure that everything is off. You will no longer have any bottles left on your table. Um, if you have extra uh, aesthetic wipes, now is the time to throw them away. I recommend you bring extra just in case you have a couple fall out or you didn't pack enough. That's why you should have extra. So if you do have an extra aesthetic wipe, throw that baggie away. You'll sanitize. Make sure everything's off your table except your universal supplies and then you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. Please do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. You will break down your work area and dispose of supplies used in the previous sections of the examination. You will be expected to follow all classes.